we fixed in our call ahead of the season? How are things going? Are you happy with the, the preparations ahead of the kickoff? No, listen, it's 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 went well. Um, as you said, we've got new players. Do you know? I think they they've settled in uh, quite quickly. Mm. Um, we've played some some good games. Um, and do you know training's been good as well. So there's a good atmosphere around the place. There's a good atmosphere around the place, and as you said, the boys have settled in really really quickly. So which is important as well. Do you feel in general like in the overall picture your squad is a bit stronger than last season? Yeah, I would say yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You know, and listen, we we, we have lost players as well from last year. Obviously, yeah. the, the two senior lads as well. But um, do you know we've we brought in we brought in some good uh, quality players. So um, I'd like to think yeah, we would be stronger than last year. Yeah, obviously, like with a big club like Cork City, like the expectations always going to be big. Like in, in your own words, City are the biggest club in the country. But uh, does that add extra kind of pressure on you? Then the expectancy will be there, like again. I think, I think, I think in this job, there's always pressure on you. I think, I think there is, and, and from the club, it is, it, it is, it is the biggest club in the country. But you know, it's it's, it's up to us to get us out of this division. It's it's going to be tough. It is, you know, Waterford will be strong, Galway will be strong. So, um, and obviously we've strengthened from last year. So I'd like to think, you know, that you know, if if, if the lads, you know, put their heads down, work hard, and we all. We all pull together, Do you know. We'll uh, hopefully we'll have a good season. Yeah, six last year, Colin, but four points off at the end only. Really, just shows you like that with a better start. It'd be well in the mix, like. So. Uh, we would, yeah. The start last year wasn't good enough, and we all know that. Yeah. You know, I think the players got up and running. Do you know, probably probably halfway through the season, you know, and they put in some mm. very very good performances. Um. Yeah, but it's the 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 start killed us last year. Do you know? So, uh, it was very difficult after that. It was. So, um, but what what I would the the positive side of it is that players did improve. Players did improve, and um, especially when the fans came back in, the players enjoyed playing in front of the fans. Do you know it's it's it's, it's a different place. Turners Cross with the fans in, yeah. like any for any manager, they'll say the grounds when when there's atmosphere in, it's it's, it's a different ball game. It is. Yeah, um, nine nine teams this year, isn't it? and there'll be a few more yeah. matches. Like, would you say that there's no excuses really this year to be not in the mix, or to be not in the playoffs? I'd like to think we should be in the playoffs. Do you know? I'd like to think that we should be up there, thereabouts. Mm. You know, it will be tough. It will be tough. Do you know? So, um, that's that's the focus. That's what the the players are aiming for, and the staff is that. You know, we should be thereabouts, and um, we'll put in the work on and off the pitch, and we give the players and an opportunity to go, to go and compete at the top. Yeah, another interesting match for you tomorrow night. Call ahead of the new season against Shelburne, as you mentioned there. Be great to the, the real pro back. You know, big no, I would. Yeah, no, it, it's great. It's great to get the fans back in. You know, as I said to, uh, tomorrow, night, um, shells are coming down, Duffers coming down. You know, it's um good to see him in. It's good to see him in. Um, uh, you know, managing a team. Um, as I said, I've got great time from um as a player. As a, he's an excellent coach, and it's great for him to be managing in the league of Ireland. Um, so they're a good football team. Um, so it'll be it'll be a good game tomorrow night. I suppose all the games against Shells and Corker are yeah. good and I suppose Graham probably knows a lot about Shells, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you have a good relationship, you were telling me earlier, Carl, with, with Damien Duff. <coughs> were, were you on the phone to him? Were you, were you chatting to him? Oh, I was, yeah, 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 I was chatting to him, yeah. Listen, I've got a lot of time for Damien. Listen, he's he's a good fella. Um unbelievable player on his day. Um but no, he's a great fella, as I said, listen, he's if if you need to pick up the phone to me, he'll he'll take the call, there's no problem there. Like, you know, he's yeah. he's a good fella, he's He's well taught of itself as well. He's short time everything. He is. He's he's a fantastic coach. He is. He's got. He's a good coach. He's got a good way about him, um, and it is. Um, it doesn't surprise me how well how, how, how well he's done. Yeah, he's probably bringing a few Irish fans to the the league of Ireland, which is a good thing as well. I suppose. No, it probably will do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, it'd be, even even for tomorrow night, it'd be nice if there was a nice crowd there tomorrow night, isn't it? Even for even for the players and you know, it's, listen, everything's opened up now again, you know, get the crows back in and Hopefully we can get turns across the back the the way the way it used to be. Just the last one for me, Colin. Just on on um, Cahill Efron. Um, mm. Obviously, you're delighted from it's, uh, it's an amazing move, really. Isn't it? It's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Um, as I said, it's um, a fantastic move for him. Um, I remember when he came in here at could have been thirteen years of age. He came into the under 15s and he was obviously under fourteen. We probably probably brought in about I think about six or seven from the Cork School Boys League. Mm. Um, probably weren't too happy about it but we brought him in because we thought that they could go and play at this level and they did and he came in and you know it's probably a credit to the coaches that he's worked with you know over the years probably the three or four years that he has been here that that he's improved every single year and I know obviously with the Irish teams he would improve with them as well like, but 
Do you know, there was a lot of work that um, Cork City put into to to Cahill as well. Do you know, yeah. so it's um, but it's great, it's great thing to go and play AC Milan. It's um, massive opportunity for him you know, as a club and even for myself. I just wish him the best of luck. Um, Shelburne to Ireland called obviously it's Premier Division opposition but there's a team you're familiar with from the First Division last year but that's kind of been the theme of your pre-season you played a couple of Premier Division teams with Pats last week and Finn Harps and so on so was it good to, to test yourselves against those those kind of teams I suppose and, and you've kind of you've done alright as well like you only know, lost my goal last week and so on no, no, Listen we've done okay listen, the players got um, some good minutes um, yeah, but listen Shells tomorrow will be a totally different team to last year yeah. you know it's, um, they've got a it's practically a new squad. They have a different way of playing under um under a new manager, a very good manager. So it'll be it'll be a good game tomorrow night. It'll be a good game tomorrow night. They will play a lot of football. So um, we just need to be ready for that one. And it's the first time in a few years there's been a preseason game at Turner's Cross. Is it, is it nice to have one in there before you go back there for a league game in a couple of weeks? No, it's great. I'd like to have them all in there, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is. It's it's good for for the fans to come in and and uh, to see the new players. Um, yeah, and I suppose against Shells, it's, um, it's, it's, it's always a good game to get before the start of the season. Great. Right. Yeah. You're speaking there about Carl. Is there any other company of young players you see coming through the city at the moment that could get into the first team squad this year? Um, Listen, there's a few of them. There's a few of them coming in, obviously, with the 19s. And, you know, you, you have Orm was involved with the pre-season games. Um, Zach Dunn was there. You still have Mark Manny, he's away in international duty at the, at the moment. So there, there is a few boy, there is a few lads that are coming up. The only thing what I would say is this, this team is stronger this year than it was last year. A lot of younger lads got opportunities last year. It's um we got a small bit more experience this year, um so it will be it will be harder. But there is there there's some good lads coming through. Even even when you go down to, fourteens, fifteens, seventeens, there's some good good players. So, um some players, like Cahill, do you know it's um he's. Listen, he's a very, very good player. Some some players might you mightn't see the best of them until they're eighteen or nineteen and that's that's just the way they you just gotta be patient with some of them. But you like you see the development and how it's worked with Carl. Do you think the academy you've always can emphasize how important is that? It's massive. It's massive, it's massive. And the amount of work that the coaches do and obviously Liam Kearney, they, obviously he's the head of the academy, the amount of coach the the work that they do is is um is, is unbelievable. As I said, they're out three, four nights a week, there's a game the weekend. They do an awful lot of work, and the players come in. They're given everything. They're they're treated as professional players. I know they're not professional players, but they are treated as as professional players. They're they're given a good opportunity here, and some players will take that opportunity. Some fellas won't, and you know the way it is. It's just, it's um, it is. It it sometimes I see it, and it's you have talented players, and they come in, they're not playing, and then all of a sudden I don't want to be part of it, and they want to go elsewhere, and then you have other players that will stick with it, and they'll keep fighting, they'll keep fighting. And then some majority of those boys go on and be good players. But it's um no, I think for the academy point of view, I think it's it's fantastic. You can see the players coming, you still have Joe Brown with Marsh is coming back from an injury. Do you know he's international, you've got Mark Romani, Indian Murray, there's there's lots of players coming through. Just come back to the first team. Has there been any players come back in pre season that have surprised you in a good way? You always get that player, you go, oh, he came out of nowhere, he's really worked hard. Any player like that? It was never you, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> no, what I would say, what I would say is, um, no, players have come back in a good, uh, in a good condition. They have, they have. Um, I won't, I probably, I wouldn't single out anybody, you know, but they have. They've come back in a good condition, and and I, w- I would be big on it that, you know, their their weights, their body fats, um, fitness levels are, are um, at a good level because. Listen, if they're not, they're, they're, they're open to uh, injuries and all that kind of stuff. So you know, that's that's so important. As I know, the football is important as well, but it's what they do off the pitch as well. It's so so important that we have all these players at a top level, so they can they can perform every week. You know, when we've got three games a week, they're gonna have to look after themselves. You know? I was just gonna say that. As they when signing the players, is it something that you actually go for their character and need to find out more about that manager? It's not is. I think it's everything. Yeah, when you're signing players, you got to look at everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's a, it's a good player on the pitch, what's he like off the pitch? Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be good for the dressing room. It has to be. So it's just not as easy as oh, should go and get him. It has to be a bit of a bit of work done. Yeah. Has there been any players that's actually 
you've gone off signing that have been talented, no names obviously, but one or two, name them, one or two of them, yeah. I wouldn't say I wouldn't, I'm not going to mention any, yeah, but one or two, yeah. yeah. They have to be right for the dress room. The dress room is the most important thing is that when players come into training in the mornings that they, they have to be happy, there has to be a good environment around the place. Um, when I came in first, when I came out to the end of the season, it got really good. It wasn't a good dressing room and I could tell straight away. I've been in plenty of dressing rooms as a player. I said Dan Murray, Benno, um, Joe Gamble, listen, they're good, we had good dressing rooms. But I could tell when I came in first, it wasn't a good dressing room. So that's the most important thing. You gotta get a good dressing room, and then every time we go from that. Last one. In terms of preseason games, what have you taken from it? From have you learnt anything that you probably didn't know already? No, well, listen. I have a fair I have a fair idea what the players can do and what they can't do. Um, listen, the, the big thing about it is that when they, when we're doing the coaching points on the training pitch, they're taking on the information well. You know, so it's it's um. It's it's a good group, and um, the things that they're asking them to do, they're doing it. You know, so and obviously, you know, we've got a small bit more experience than we have from last year. So um, I'd like to think that we would be um, would be a stronger position going into the start of the season than we were last year. Cheers. No problem. Any injury problems going into the second of the season? Yeah, obviously, Gordon, Gordon, obviously, so Gordon broke his leg. Actually. Yeah, Gordon's out. Um, yeah, Alec Bourne will be out for about two or three months as well. Alec Bourne has got a bit of a fraction in his foot. So the two George lads. Okay, so Who's that? George, yeah, George is going well. George is going well, but he won't be ready for, I'd say, maybe another six or seven weeks. But he's going well so at the moment. Missing a few, sorry. They were missing a few, but I mean, it gives the opportunity for other lads to step in. Yeah. But we knew, we knew with George, we knew with George that he was going to be looking at maybe maybe mid March or anything like that. Do you know, it was a serious injury he was, but he's coming back, he's coming back well, and the physios are happy with him. Um, yeah. Obviously, the one with Gordon was, you know, was very unfortunate last week. You know, so. Have you? You probably have obviously your chemistry with the team captain, or club captain, vice captain. That's King. It's King Commons, the, the captain. Vice captain. Yeah, King was King it vice Commons. captain as well? Um, King Commons. No. King. And then probably some guys would rub the armband if he's not playing. Yeah. <laughs> Just going back to Kyle there from there. He's only sixteen, and I kind of compare him with somebody like Jake O'Brien, who's twenty twenty one. Mm. When the Jake went over, he's playing with the under 23s and straight away he's all in Rome. Hmm. What kind, what's the path, path way forward for a young lad like Kevin who was only 16? Does he stay within the academy for, another, for, the, for the next two years? See, I don't know what they do over there. I would imagine that he would stay with, in with the academy, play with the academy, and they'll probably say how well he's doing. Yeah. Um, if they're happy with him, they'll sign him and then they'll slowly bring him up to levels. If it's, true, if it's 19s, 21s, 20, I don't know what they do over there, but that's what they'll yeah. do. Like, that's what they do. As I said, Jake was here. We, we signed Jake at under 17s. Jake was here for the three years with us. Um, he got stronger and stronger. As um, listen, He's a very good footballer, but he had to do a lot of work you know, on his physical side as well, and he did. Um, and he's gone from strength to strength. But that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but the thing, about, the thing about Jake, Jake never missed any training sessions. Yeah, never yeah. missed any training sessions. He was always there, always on time. He was always asking questions. He always wanted to do well. Do you know, it's listen, probably I keep saying to lads, it was one thing there where we were trying to get his weight down because he was too heavy. And then he goes, Listen, I'll speak to my, uh, my nutritionist. I'll speak to my nutritionist. So he he had, uh, he's invested in himself. Yeah, he so had so a drive and a determination, determination. He did it, and it's like even that in the dressing room when he's in with the first team players, it doesn't phase him. Yeah. It doesn't phase him. And the games that he played towards the end of the season, he did. He did very, very well. He did. So it's um, and he's gone on. He's played Irish under twenty ones, and he probably didn't play international under 18s, 16s. So, mm-hmm. so when kids when kids don't get under sixteens, eighteens, it's it's not the end of the world. You yeah. just you just keep believing in yourself and. You know, back your own ability and then listen it's not the end of the world if you don't play international football it's 16 17. Toby there's having somebody like Damien Duff coming back into the league of Ireland is obviously the whole profile mm-hmm. of the league is that is this something you'd like to see more ex-players ex-international players coming no, back? No it would be great. Investing in the league of Ireland yeah no it, w- it would be great it would be great I mean I can see what he's doing already with the team that he's got he's playing a lot of football with them and you know so I think the you know the level of coaching has gone up you know and obviously the demands that Damien has but the, the career that he had obviously all the, the players that he's played with the manager that he's played under that he's got good habits and he knows he knows what to do and what not to do so that can only you know be good for the youngsters but even the youngsters up there the under 17s and under 19s and shells if they're, if they're listening from Damien working with Damien they can only they can only improve yeah, yeah.